Hello everyone, my name is Gerardo Gamber, and today I want to talk about a game called Dragon. This is a early release title that has yet to be released. Um, it is a game that was supposed to be released a few days ago, but it has been pulled back a bit by the developers on purpose because they want to make sure that the game is ready for consumption. They want to make sure that this game is as good as it can be, as it promises to be, and you know that it's a bit of a sore spot because I was really hoping to actually start playing it, um, <laughs> but at the same time, they have pulled it back, which is good because this game will be more quality than you know currently what they thought was not good to release, and that's good. That shows maturity on the game developer. That shows that they are willing to make the game that we want them to make. Now, frankly, what is this game? What is Dragon? Well, from the screenshots here, I'm only using screenshots. I'm not using video because I don't know if they want anyone to use the video or not. Um, so I think I should be safe using screenshots. They um, want to create a game where you play as the dragon. You are the beast. And you're, you live in a medieval kingdom. You decide from there what you're going to do. Are you going to be the harrower of the world? Are you going to be the savior of kingdoms? Are you just not going to care? Um, you can do whatever you want as a dragon. It is a free-roaming open world, and the graphic quality isn't the best that we've seen, but the very fact that the notion of this game, that's, that's really what I'm talking about here, is what the game is capable of. It's kind of the same reason I started playing Seven Days to Die, why I supported the shit out of that game, is because it's what it's capable of. The message here with the game is be a dragon. Live a dragon's life. Literally. It is a dragon simulator. But that's, you know, a lot of people would say, oh, that's, that sounds boring as hell. No, no. Just think of it a moment. What the game developer is aiming for, you eat creatures, you gain levels, you, you gain upgrades, you evolve as you play. Uh, maybe you want a tougher hide, so you kick the shit out of some people, or you take too much damage, or you start, you know, eating more things to gain those those levels, those perks, and you can you could empower yourself. In addition to that, you can create your own lair. You can probably claim anything you've, you've uh, destroyed. I don't know how that's going to work yet, but that'd be pretty cool to take over an entire castle, and you're the beast that people will come to try to fight at some day. There's going to be multiplayer in the future, too, so you and a friend can join up together and just massacre people, or try to kill each other, those PvP options they were talking about. Um, now, as for breath weapons, there appears to only be fire right now, but this game is going to be moddable. And even if, even if modders don't put in new kinds of breath weapons, you can, I don't know, you can expect to see the developers add a lot more variety. And I would love to see them add more variety to this game, because I think it deserves it. I think they have a winner here. And, I mean, it, again, it's, it's really early to say. I don't know how the game is going to be myself. I'm going to get it. I want to believe that it's going to be everything it's claiming to be. And would love to see it continue. I would love to see this project um, push forward. Uh, I, I feel that indie games are the way of the future only because they're giving people, like-minded people, what they want in a video game. As opposed to, let's suffer through what the bigwigs decide. Because a lot of, you know, games are designed much like movies are. And it's like, oh, what's trending right now? What's popular? Um... The indie market isn't so much like that. I mean, yeah, sure, they do follow certain trends, but it's not about the trend. It's about what kind of game do we want to make? And these developers got together and they said, no one's ever made a dragon game. Like, literally, a dragon game. A game where you play as a dragon 100% of the time. I know some people are going to probably list in the comments below, oh, there's this game and this game and this game you can play as a dragon. But you don't stay as the dragon. Your story isn't about the dragon. You are not living the life of the dragon. I have a book of AD&D that I read a lot. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, for people who do not know what that is. And I love reading about the dragons. There's so many. So many times. Shadow dragons, red dragons, blue dragons, white dragons, silver, gold, copper, brass, steel, mercury, gem dragons, amethyst dragons, crystal dragons... 
there's deep dragons. There's sh um, did I say shadow? There's shadow. There's <laughs> there are dracoliches, and then there are hydras and things like that. All these creatures, and there's this wealth of information. That's just AD and D. You go into all sorts of mythology and uh, other fantasy lore. Dragons are a big part of it. In a game that lets you live as a dragon, you are the dragon. You can customize your dragon. As you've seen from the pictures, there's a variety of dragons, but they're saying not just not just the color. You can customize the appearance, like the head, the tail, the wings, the body, the spikes, if there are any. Um, and, uh, you know, they're probably going to do subspecies of dragons, too. I'm really hoping they do. I'm hoping they open it up to allow you to explore all the avenues of dragons. And at the very least, the modding tools that they will be releasing, they have a heavy interest in modding for the workshop, um, allow the players so much freedom to meld this into the best dragon game, the only dragon game out there. They have re they've changed the title of the game from Dragon to Dragon the Game, or at least that's the unofficial title, but Dragon is, is a simple title as well. Um, some people were worried that this might be a cash grab. It's way too early to tell. The game came out of nowhere, um, or at the very least, they haven't been too uh, interested in marketing it. So I'm making this video here for people who do not know that this game exists. You make your decision. I mean, I've watched the, the uh, pre-alpha videos, and they are pretty rough. But it's a pre-alpha, it's not even alpha. And the game is still early release. It will be released, it, it, it was supposed to be released a few weeks ago, but it's going to be released in about a month's time. Um, in uh, November 5th, I believe. The game is pretty rough looking. It's the concept. Again, you have to look at the concept of the game. It's like Legos. When those first came out, I bet there were a lot of people saying, Oh, this toy is shit. They're just blocks. Well, what, 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 what have Legos done for my generation? I can speak for myself saying they helped create Minecraft. Legos helped create voxel games as a whole for the gaming industry. But even before that, Legos were the shit. I mean, who didn't love building a castle or building entire cities? It just allows creativity. It allows creativity. So the indie market is now filled with games that are based on concepts, and they start rough. Look at Unturned. Unturned, a lot of people say, oh, the shitstorm about Unturned is that, oh, it's better than DayZ, and that's it. It's not just better than DayZ. It's the concept. It's a cute zombie survival game. It's very adorable. One person made it. That's amazing enough, but the very fact is, Unturned is an adorable little bundle, and it's free! You don't want to afford Arma? You don't want to afford the, the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The standalone. Just get, you know, get, uh, Unturned, because Unturned is free. It's a nice alternative. It's, it's joyous, really. It's hard, but it's joyous. Um, so the indie market is really is really an amazing thing now, and I think the Dragon the Game is going to be an amazing game, just from what I've seen so far. I mean, I haven't seen a lot. I've seen as much as you're probably seeing here, except for I've seen some of the videos. I'm on the forums. Um, I was so, you know, taken aback by this game and its its concept. I, I, I thought of a game like this a long time ago myself. It's like Seven Days to Die. You just think to yourself, I want to deconstruct and reconstruct everything. Let's do that. In this game, you can do the same thing. Only it's you're not deconstructing and reconstructing. You are a dragon. You are living the life of a dragon. You're becoming an enemy or a, a protector or a deity even. I'm sure they'll add like tribute systems in. It's like, I won't destroy you if you give me so many sheep and gold. You can store wealth. And I'm hoping it's like a... Um, kind of a segment blocks building system where you get like a shitload of coins and you just place it down where you want it and you can roll in it and all that stuff and sleep in the gems. I want to see all my gems shining. I'm sure they're open to suggestions, so if the developers see this game, uh, this this video for their game, sorry, um, I, I would love to suggest many things that if they haven't already thought of them, because I'm a big fan of dragons and uh, there are not a lot of good dragon games out there. Again, people are going to argue with that. But, <laughs> frankly, there aren't. Dragons are, you know, in games, as a as a living, breathing thing, to make you, you know, feel like you're role-playing that, they have not been an integral part of games so far in their entire history. So, 
the games that do have dragons, it's very minimal, or they're a side portion, you know, whatever. They appear, they go. Even in Skyrim, dragons are great, but they... You, you don't do anything with them, really. It was only until the expansions that you get to summon them, and even then, oh, dragon riding got added to the game. That was a complete lie. You're not really riding the dragon. You are borrowing the dragon's movement. You're not controlling it. So, in this game, you are the dragon. You're only as strong and as terrifying as you can be as the player. Frankly, I'm gonna play the shit out of it. I love the concept. Even if this is a money grab game, I get my ha hands on this thing, and they allow modding? I'm gonna make a mod. I'm gonna make a big mod for it. I'm, I'm gonna want to do as much for this game as possible, because the concept is important. It would be sad if it was a money grab, because that means they don't care. But, frankly, I think they do. I think they do. I'm doing this video because I feel that the game can have promise. It looks like it could. I mean, this is just, it, this is all early, and I'm looking forward to this. It was greenlit by the community, solely because of promise. Again, it's not the most attractive looking game, but look at Seven Days to Die when it came out about a year ago. That game looked horrible. <laughs> I said that. First video, this isn't the prettiest looking game, but it's so much fun. And I continue to play that. And I'm looking forward to that game's evolution. So I'm looking forward to this game's evolution. I'm not going to do a series of the evolution of this game. However, depending, uh, I will definitely do a, a good amount of videos for it. And I'll continue to do videos every now and again when it comes out. And I'm very excited for it. I hope that this video was... I, I mean, I'm not really telling you anything you can't find out by checking the Steam link, and I'm going to be linking that below. But you're not going to find anything new from my video here. I'm just hoping that the people watching this at least know that the game exists. Be aware of that. If you want to fund it, go right ahead. I'm going to put the link to both the green light, to the um, store page, and even the official website. If you want to check all that stuff out, do it. Um, any personal wishes I have about this game? Well, on the forums I was saying, I'm hoping that they add uh, necromancy as a magic, because dragons use magic. There has to be some form of magic somewhere. Even if it's a very lengthy process of getting it, there needs to be necromancy, because I want a Dracolich. I want a frost and shadow breathing monster that just just destroys and corrupts the landscape around it. I want to drastically alter the world in which my, my creature lives. I want to make that threat known. I like the visual aspect of their threat, because already there's tree burning in this game. There's a video on the Steam page about a dragon just burning everything. And I feel maybe that the devs don't have a lot of um, hope in, in trying to publicize it. Maybe they don't feel that um, advertising is the best motive, but Honestly, I think this game needs more advertising. So I'm hoping somebody sees this. I'm hoping you, you tell your friends. Uh, I'm hoping the devs see this video. And I want them to know that I believe in this game's future. I do. Um, I've been a fan of dragons and fan of games for a long time. So thank you so much for watching. And um, I'm hoping this video was of some interest to you guys. Again, sorry for the amount of pictures. This is all the pictures I could find for this game. Um that I know are 100% from this game. And, uh, yeah. Look forward to Dragon in November. And I believe it's November 5th. See you there.